Hey, what is up, guys? Welcome back to the Insane Podcast. I am your host, Lucas McLuhan. Yes, I removed Sean as the host. Me and Joseph, are, this is our podcast now. So, welcome back. Today we'll be re- reviewing um, Bryson Tiller's new song with Drake. That song is out of time. And um, interesting collaboration. I'm very excited to hear it. And here we go. Um, <clears throat> all right. All right, so that was out of time uh, with... What was his name? I can't. I can't. Bryson say. I never say it Drake. Right. Yeah, 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 Drake. Uh, very interesting. Very interesting. I'm gonna start off first, and then uh, we'll just go down the line. Uh, very interesting how that one played out. Um, I I was getting I was getting the weekend vibes when I, I was hearing it. it uh, but it was but it was like a, it was kind of a kind of a good vibe, and uh, I enjoyed it. It was it was just a really good like wavy kind of just kind of relaxed song, and uh, I kind of like that. I kind of like that one kind of um, you know, and Drake's really good at that and. I haven't listened to, oh, and like I haven't listened to like other stuff of his, but like Drake did really well on that song, and um, I don't know, I don't know if I can see this blowing up, but I can definitely see this as being, you know, a very popular song that people like, kind of just to vibe out and kind of just, you know, she kind of out of space. So I liked it, I liked it a lot. Not enough to go on my playlist though. I'm gonna give this seven out of ten. Um, Lucas, what do you think, bro? Um, overall, I really did like the song. I've always liked Bryson Tiller. Bryson Tiller has also had, all, always had his own, his own kind of vibe. It's not, it's not an original vibe, but a vibe that we all like. A vibe that's very um, fitting for our generation. Um, generic, but a good generic. And Drake, I feel like Drake, he matches perfectly with these songs. He can't sing super well. News flat, News flash. He can't sing super well. But um, he fits well on a lot of these kind of songs, and it's the reason why he's so big. He is a perfect, <clears throat> and will be for the next at least ten years. He will keep going, keep growing in popularity. Even though I don't like a number of his songs, he will continue to grow in our in our generation as a musician and as an overall artist. He's already been ruling the industry for a while now, and it will only continue on from here. But and I love the interaction with him and Bryson Tiller. Bryson Tiller, a tremendous vocalist. I love Bryson Tiller's voice. And overall, songwriting is not great from Drake. And it's it's pretty generic from Bryson Tiller. But the songwriting in this song was so smooth and flowed perfectly with the beat. And vocals were great. I give this song a 9 out of 10. I forgot who's next. So anyone go. Yeah, um, Sean, what do you think, bro? Um, I, I'm not, you know I'm not totally sure. I agree with you, Joseph. It has a weekend vibe. Um, even so, the melodies were a little reminiscent of that. Um, I thought I thought Drake did pretty good. Um, you know Drake has an interesting thing with the songs. Is like no matter if I think this song is really, and you guys will probably disagree, but uh, no matter if the song is really like not that good overall, or I don't like it at first, I usually always end up liking it. I don't know what it is. I mean, partly probably because he's going through song upon songs and he's got, you know, the label telling him and people probably writing for him, uh, letting him know what the best is. Um, so it always ends up kind of being catching in some way in the end. Um, but as far as this one, I thought the course was pretty good. Nothing crazy. Like I said, I'll probably be liking it a lot. They only did the course once. I don't. Bryson Taylor didn't even really have a verse. He was kind of just saying things, and it was kind of vibey. So I think I kind of got the um, idea that this is a, a really just the like Joseph was saying. Just you don't have to pay attention too much. You just kind of listen to it, put it in the background. Um, you know, just kind of just kind of like a chill song. It gave me no guidance vibes. The Drake and Chris vibe song, yeah. or Chris Brown song, not Chris vibe song. Um, <laughs> yeah, give me some vibes of those. Um, but yeah, I thought Drake's voice sounded pretty good. I thought it was pretty good overall. I gave it a probably yeah, same as yeah, eight point eight eight out of ten. Probably eight out, eight out, eight out of ten. Hello. All right. What do you think, Coleman? Um, it was so late, Sean. I'm sorry, Coleman. Uh, you're good. Um, I mean, I think I honestly hearing Drake and Bryson Tiller together, like. They have they bring very similar vibes, especially when Drake does his more like R and B side of him. So I was definitely expecting something more memorable, I guess. Um, yeah. yeah. I don't know how often y'all listen to Bryson Tiller, but if you listen to him at all, you know that this 
sounds like 99% of his discography. Like, mm-hmm. like this sounds really like does. every sounds other similar. Bryson. Yeah, this sounds like every other Bryson Tiller song to me. You know, you have your classic Forget this. vocal chop in the background. Um, yeah. Like, that's, that's like his key thing. That's like what sets mm-hmm. him apart. I feel like, like he always uses the vocal chops. And I don't know. I just didn't – nothing like – stuck to me like it, it's obviously a solid track it's a track that i feel like a lot of people are going to add to their r&b playlist just because like there's not a lot of flaws in it but there's also not a lot that sticks out to me just because like like i said it just sounds like every other bryson tiller track to me i was definitely expecting something a little more i don't know just something a little more poppy i mean you got two of the the biggest names you know bryson tiller is a huge name in r&b one of the biggest and then drake's obviously one of the biggest in the world I was just expecting something a little bit, I don't know, something better. But um, it's still a solid track. I'd probably give it a 7 out of 10 just because um, it, it is solid, but it also, I think it could have been better. I feel like they could have been more creative and, and done something a little out of the box. But they, they were definitely, I feel like they were definitely a little bit in their comfort zone on this song. Mm-hmm. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, and overall, what I what I would say, sorry, Sean, to cut you off. Um, but what I would say, I do agree that every Bryson Tiller song, and this is part of the reason why he has, um, in the R and B set, in the R and B um, industry, I really do think that Bryson Tiller, he is not like a massive artist or anything. He's not huge. He's decently big, and he's big enough to be around with a name Drake. So it's he's big <clears throat> enough. But overall, I feel like if you want to listen to something at nighttime, like an easygoing pop song, he is the person to go to. And this is part of the reason why he gets um, pretty good spots on the charts. Overall, I do I do um, agree that his overall work of um, music does sound a lot really the same. Um, but like when I'm like in my car and it's nighttime, when I'm taking a nighttime walk, he is one of the first people I search up on Spotify to listen to. And the reason why is because I like a lot I like all of the songs, but they all have that certain What other songs from him do you like you like kinda So he did this one Drake cover. It was um I forgot what it was I forgot what it was called, but it was it was huge on huge on TikTok. Huge on TikTok. And that's really where um TikTok tends to fun, um, funnel a lot of these songs and um really make them um a lot bigger. And I really there was this one song. What was it called? Um, hold on. Okay, there, there it is. Hold on. It's um, finesse. So it was a Drake cover, but he kind of transformed it into an, um, into his own song, and it was a song that I really, really identified identified with, and not as a person, but like yeah. in that moment, like feeling <clears throat> wise. And it was a really, really cool song. Really cool song, and it really fit the moment. But I really listen to songs like that at nighttime, and that, that's kind of the um, trend for my generation. And, I mean, Gen, Gen X also, everyone was out on the club. Everyone was out in the clubs at nighttime. Everyone is. Not now because of COVID, but um, my generation likes doing that stuff just like Gen X did, just like the millennials did. And it's, um, yeah, that, that's us at this age. So you have songs like this, and you're going to hear them and um you're gonna be really drawn to them i i think the song will um go pretty high on the charts for sure any final thoughts coleman joseph nope all right uh yo if you enjoyed this video nope. um subscribe for more like for more check out all of our instagrams gonna link coleman gonna link lucas gonna link uh joseph yeah. gonna link me um and uh, yeah what do you think about this song do you disagree with us like it was fire um you agree with us could have been better um What do you think? We'll see you guys later. Peace out.